If you use Google Analytics or plan on using Google Analytics, this video is super important because there's a new version of Google Analytics and you have to do something to switch over to it and you're gonna wanna do that today. If you've logged into your Google Analytics account in the last week, you're gonna see this big banner right here about the brand new Google Analytics, but it doesn't tell you that you need to switch something. Here's an entire article on what the new Google Analytics is. And here's another article on search engine land that explains that Google Analytics 4 is the future of analytics. In other words, what you're using right now, it, this system is completely going away. It's not gonna be improved or developed any longer. This is brand new and your data is not even gonna convert over. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to start using Google Analytics version four on your website to start capturing this new data and go over some strategies for cutting over to the new Google Analytics. Here's a Google Analytics property for a test account that I use for some tutorials sometimes. So there's no data in it. And when you log in, this is pretty much what your overview would look like. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the bottom left where it says admin and go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take you right here. And what you're gonna see is underneath the middle column where it says property, it says upgrade to Google Analytics 4. So if you have an existing property that you're, you have set up in Google Analytics, you're going to want to go through this process. And I'm going to do that in a moment. Now, if it's a brand new website, it's automatically going to be on this brand new version of Google Analytics that just captures so much more data. So if you have an existing site though, you're gonna to wanna to go here and click on upgrade to Google Analytics 4. Now, upgrade doesn't mean your data is carrying over, it's not. Essentially, this process is gonna walk you through creating a brand new property and all the new data is gonna go into the new property. So let me first walk you through setting that up and then some strategies on how to add it to your WordPress based website. So first we'll go here and click on get started and you can read through this if you want. It's basically saying you're creating a new property and this is not gonna affect your existing analytics. Go ahead and click on create property and then this opens up in a brand new tab and it's pretty much already created. We just need to add it to our website. So you can see right here, it has the property tag information. So I'm gonna click right here where it says tag installation and it's going to take me here and it should have your website listed. And when you click on this, then we're gonna get the screen that gives us the information that we need to put into our website. So when I go here, it says global site tag. And when I click on it, right here is what you need to click and put into your clipboard. So now the question is, what do we do with the old system? And now that we have the new system, can I run them both concurrently? And then at some date, stop using the old Google Analytics? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not yet comfortable to stop collecting data with the old Google Analytics just for the new one. So I'm gonna run them both side by side till the end of the year. You can do that. You can have two properties set up. You can have two Google Analytics codes on your website. And that's what makes most sense to me. So I want to finish out the current year in the old system while simultaneously capturing all the data for the new system. And then next year, I will remove the old tag and only use the new one in Google Analytics version four. That's how I'm gonna go about doing it. You can make the hard break if you want, completely replace the old Google Analytics tag for this brand new one. It's completely up to you what you want to do. Now this next step depends on how you're adding your current Google Analytics tag to your website. So are you using a plugin to do it? Are you using your theme to do it? Everyone's gonna do this in a different way. Now, if you're using an SEO plugin for WordPress, I happen to use Rank Math, they also can integrate your Google Analytics tag automatically in your website. The only thing is this new version of Google Analytics is so new that a lot of those plugins 
aren't yet up to speed with it. And that would probably come in the next few weeks. So what I'm doing is adding this a different way. So I've gone ahead, I've copied it into my clipboard and here is the website. So I'm gonna go into the back end of my website here to go ahead and get this added in. Now I'm gonna show you two ways to do this and you can choose which way is better for you. So first, the theme that I'm using has a feature where I can easily add these scripts. So you might wanna see if the theme that you're using has a space where you can paste this in. I happen to be using the Cadence theme and their pro add-on and a lot of pro themes are gonna have this and a lot of free themes might have it as well. So for me, I need to go here to appearance and then click on elements. And right here, I'll click on add new. Then I get to choose what type of element I'm adding. In this case, it's gonna be code. And right here, I'm gonna give it a title and I'll paste it in right there, but let me give this a title. And then what I need to do is go over here and I can choose where this is going to load. You're gonna to want to, for code, choose this option right here where it says header inside head tag. So I'm gonna choose that. And then for display, I want this on my entire website and I want this for all users. So now everything here is completely set. I can go ahead and click on publish and then click on publish again. And now this is added to my website. So for me, I'm gonna run both of them side by side for the remainder of the year. Now, if your theme does not have a feature that can accept your Google Analytics code, or you're using a pro theme that doesn't have a feature like this, don't worry, there's a plugin that you can add to your website. So you can go to plugins, add new, and do a search for header footer scripts. There's a bunch of these plugins that allow you to add it. I personally like this one, header and footer scripts. This is also pretty interesting. I haven't tried this before, and this adds the option inside of your customizer. This sounds like it might be pretty clean, so let's go ahead and give that one a shot. So I'm gonna install it, and then I'll click on activate and what this is probably doing is adding the option inside of the customizer. So I'm gonna to go to appearance and then I'm gonna click on customize. And inside of here, I'll click on custom scripts because that's probably where it was added. Here it is header script and I will just paste it in right there and then go ahead and click on publish and now I've added it to my site. So those are two ways that you can add the brand new Google Analytics tracking script to your website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a reminder for January 1st to go here and remove the old script and to see if there's any more optimized ways of adding the Google Analytics script to Rank Math, which is the SEO plugin that I use uh, once they have added compatibility. And that's what I'd recommend to you, maybe just adding it for both of them concurrently for all of your websites so that you could track this brand new data. Now I know in this video, I didn't go through all the benefits of the new Google Analytics and I'll get to that eventually in a video uh, once it's come, it's had a little bit more time to mature a bit, but there's a lot of new data points that it's collecting. It's using machine learning to um, have a cookie list tracking uh, people on multiple devices and browsers. It's gonna be doing some crazy things like that. And regardless, it's what the new system is and the old system's not compatible or converting over. So you literally have no no choice but to switch this way uh, by adding the, both of the scripts or just the new one, whichever one you prefer. So I just wanted to get that out. I sure, you, sure know that you know people that could use this video Please share it out. If you found some value in it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Ask question if you have a question. I'll see you in the next video.